This is Suze Love and Tarot, and we are doing a Venus reading. Okay, so we are on Libra now. We just did Scorpio. All right, so let's see what's been going on. Okay, love and money. Ooh, let's see what's been going on. Okay, let's see. Past tense. King of Swords. Okay, so you've... That's interesting. King of Swords. So you cut out love and focus on money for a lot of you. Okay, that's what I got first off. Okay, now, but I feel like you want family and community and togetherness. Okay. It's like... Uh... That's interesting. Ball gown came up in another reading once recently. Hmm. That olive looks kind of looks like a ship there a little bit. That looks like a Alex, <laughs> what the olive? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I feel like even though you may not show it to the world, King of Swords, you want love. Okay. Deep down in your subconscious is calling you. It's like you poured it up all out. You gave up. Okay. Okay. Olive. Now they're giving me Popeye. Okay, so Olive, right? So there is someone that loves you like Olive did Popeye or vice versa. That's interesting. Okay, King of Wands. So it could be an air sign. Now for some of you, this is work life affecting your love life. Or vice versa. Okay, so my suggestion to you, Libra, is I feel like some of you are already there. You've stepped into your new path. If you've been resisting your new path, the key is to move in it. Okay. I want to get some cards on this King of Wands. Okay. So I'm getting a couple of things. I'm getting like, um, some sort of leadership role for some of you. If you feel like you can't have it, I feel like you just need to, uh, what is all this pipes? Interesting, Libra. A broom and a toilet. And a mop and a hoe. Okay, so maybe you want to clean up your love life or work life. And green to me is heart, so you want to open your heart space, but I feel like you've been resisting here. This is like suspicious of it. It's like you don't want to end up being the barbecue or roasted. It's like ro you don't want to get roasted. That's what I'm getting. This looks like a gingerbread man, this little thing on the bottom here. So, I feel like, or is that a, is that a corn cobs? What is that? All right. Anyway, it must be a glove. Okay, so gloves. Hmm. Interesting. So, you know, gloves can hide evidence, right? Okay. Like in a museum of art. Ooh, that's interesting because I saw recently on my social media a thing where there was like a museum and then there was a... a living uh, art and it was like a woman and a man and man came out of this frame and went into this frame and then they were uh, posing to kiss and then I guess when the people walked by then they would be kissing okay so that's interesting okay 
So there's somebody, uh-huh, somebody you want to get close to here, two of cups. Oh, France, that's what I was getting. Okay, so I'm getting like France and uh, like aristocrat, of France and um, so. This I'm getting designer vibes here, designer. Okay. So I feel like in the past, you don't trust the relationship. Okay. Now, what was that once? Oh, okay. So for some of you, you don't trust a fire sign anymore when it comes to your friendship or love relationship. Okay. And due to some things that happened. And you probably want to clear your mind of that. Okay. I'm getting Ikea furniture. Okay, so where is that from? Okay, so someone uh, someone who is into you might be into designing or creating uh, furniture or clothes. I'm not sure, but okay, so the wheel is turning. So it may seem like you're walking on water, right? But just know that things are working out. But you have to release the past and move into this positive energy. Okay, now, Queen of Cups. I feel like that represents you. Been in your emotions. Okay. This could be an earth sign or a water sign. Yeah. That's the next one. Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, this is being emotional about a water sign or emotional about an earth sign. Okay. And what you want to do is raise your energy. See, I feel like they kind of had like dark hair and dark skin for some of you. Maybe not dark skin, but uh, that kind of hair is what I'm getting. Okay, dark hair. Okay, now for some of you, this is like maybe dreadlocks for some of you. Someone who has um, love for the ocean or oceanic mind when it comes to love. It's infinite. Okay, and that's what I feel like you desire. That's in your dream world. Okay, now here, the seahorse commits to one partner, right? Something like that's coming up. Okay, so I feel like that's what you'd like. And if you have kids, you'd like to have a partner for your bunnies. Ooh, bunnies came up in another reading. What reading was that? A lot of the energies were kind of similar, so... Mm. It's where the one where there was like bunnies and um, all right. Okay, let's keep going. High priestess. So it could be a Pisces. No. What I'm getting is you're hiding your emotions. Okay, and it's calling for you to have trust in what is changing, to go with the flow, because there are some hidden elements waiting to be revealed, like a, a show in a stage. So just move with the flow and trust the energy more, Libra. That's what I'm getting. And instead of hiding your emotions, Speak it forward, and I feel like you will feel like you lifted some burdens and feel free. Now, you want to be uh, compassionate and kind as much as you can in your words, right? Instead of being this kind of king of swords, cutting it cold, right? Warm it up a little bit, and I feel like you'll have success here in love and in money. And that's what this Queen of Pentacles is. And I feel like you're okay with uh, 
it coming uh, at a steady pace. It's like you don't have to have it not now. Whereas in the past, you wanted everything now. But now you're willing to go the distance. Woo! Knight of Cups. Now this came up in another person's reading, the Knight. Scorpio. Oh, okay, Libra. So do you have Scorpio placement? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, Libra. You may have Scorpio placement, and if that's the case, you want to align that with your Libran energy, and I feel like you've mastered that, and if you're not there, you will be soon. It, you just may not be able to see it because what's going on in the physical reality. All right, now try to stay optimistic with that Pisces card showing up because that's what their reading was about, and... You'll be able to move through uh, the hoops untouched and in love. That's the key to your success is moving in this loving energy. Playing, the, playing your world, you're taking the new path, moving in love. Okay, this is the new you. Now, Scorpio had moving from the knight to the king and it was like you have been knighted and then it went into the king okay and here you have a knight of wands and knight of cups so what's nice about this is your libra energy is wanting to move in that more loving playful space but with that knight of swords there in the beginning have you been pushing against that that's the question right I feel like you're this uh, uh, loving lotus blossoming, and the world would love to see this revealed. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Now, for some of you, uh, music will help you feel more connected. So find some nice music that will help you harmonize. Now, I feel like for some of you, you're going to fall in love at some kind of musical event okay all over again with this past person now now for some of you this is like graduating into uh it's like platonic love with a past person you might have separated from but being able to be okay with everything and i have a marriage dot here in the middle of her face so it's like, some of you may rekindle, just saying. I said that like in the beginning of my tarot journey, that that could happen. Okay. This could be uh, Taurus Capricorn is what I'm getting up in the forefront. So Scorpio, right? And then, uh, yeah, any water sign, really. Okay, but that's what I'm getting. And then the Nine of Pentacles. You want to bring in the fruits of your labor. But see, this love game here, whatever that was, um, has you in, uh, going in... Uh, Staying in the past. You want to move out of the past. Yeah. Into uh, more playful energy. Page of Cups. Freeing yourself from any kind of resentments of the past. Talking to spirit. Okay. So it's like the retrograde energy right now could have it look... Looking like in the physical reality, things aren't coming together. Okay. But sometimes, just follow your gut. There's a need to let go of the connections that you don't want to let go of. And that creates space for this new kind of loving energy that's within you. That's waiting to be blossomed. Okay. 
Woo! King of Wands. Okay, and I feel like you'll be moving in your passion again. Okay, so see, this card came up in Scorpio. This was like connecting to mother and the non-physical. So for you, though, I feel like uh, mother dynamic is what influenced your life in a lot of ways. So what can you weave in a different way or in a new direction? Can you be more passionate about how you view mother, right? Can you move in a more loving energy? Okay, now for some of you, if, that might have felt like control issues, controlling energy. Okay. This is polar opposite. So for some of you, if you felt like you had a partner that was bipolar, take a look at your own energy. Okay. Now the other thing is, it's all going to balance out. And I feel like you're in a masculine energy, that doing energy where you're creating new. For some of you, this is fashion stuff. Okay, now for some of you, this is in Europe. Fashion, Europe, fashion, European fashion. All right. And if you feel like you fell out of fashion or are not fashionable, that's okay. I feel like you're taking a new pathway and it's like you're purifying something from the past, purging and moving into this new. And I feel like that, again, is going to be your new attracting point. But it's like whoever this energy is, is luring you. Okay, this way, go this way, this way, this way, right? And it's like maybe that's the entanglement. Let's see. Okay, so it could be, see, that's Taj Mahal rebirth energy. Okay, so um, so it's death and rebirth is coming. So it could be Scorpio you had an encounter with. Okay, but this could symbolize Aquarius too. So your relationship with Aquarius could have burned up in flames here. Okay, and, uh, but... All is not lost, King of Swords. I feel like it's coming together. You just have to trust it. King of Pentacles. They may have air and earth in their charts. Earth and air. Or it could be like um, water and fire combo. Ooh, there's that water tiger again. Okay, so this is that thing that I saw, that French... Okay, so there is a uh, French marionette. Okay, marionette. It's like the French have this, uh, is it a children's story? It's marionette is the name. And it's like a story where they have puppets and they're like moving around. That's what I'm getting, France. Okay, so maybe a trip to France might be a good escape for you, Libra might help you uh, look into some different ways of being to revamp your world, right? Ooh, that might be the title. Okay. So just remember, there's no lost in divine mind. And if you feel like the money went out the door, here it is. You've got emperor and the king of pinnacles. This is your mastery. So you might have felt like deer in headlights running away. But I feel like you're facing the music now in your power. What is this? So I feel like this is... Uh... You know what? I feel like if you get involved in some kind of sports with your family, I feel like that might be fun. Play some pickleball or hula hoops, or do something active with your family, and I feel like you'll feel the improvement. Or go somewhere to some sort of uh, sporting event. Okay, now if you feel closed in and restricted, like you can't go anywhere, 
do it in your backyard, right? Okay, that's what I'm getting. And just doing those little things for yourself will help you feel more free from whatever this family connection, entanglement, um, or lover, right? Or plural lovers, right? Woo! Oh, this deck has two emperor cards. I forget. I forgot. So that's the message. Okay, so... Connecting the with those that are uh, are similar in nature. A bouquet of flowers. Okay, so that's that past friendship you feel like you can't trust anymore. Okay, let all that go, right? And I feel like you're gonna feel like yourself again. Just release all that and move in fresh energy. And for some of you, this is like two emperors creating something wonderful. Okay. Okay, but you don't know how it's going to go. And here's the tower. Okay, so you don't know how it's going to go. And here's the tower. That's the Scorpio energy, if you have it in your charts. Okay, and but here's the Ace of Pentacles. So you got to trust it. That's what I was talking about. Free your mind, and the rest will follow, and then you will have peace again. Ace of Pentacles. Now, this could be some kind of structure trying to encourage you to go into a new pathway, but you've been uh, resisting it. Okay, for some of you, you're already there designing and doing new things. Okay, now here's Judgment. You know what this is? Contracts. Some of you have contracted, decided you wanted to come together with certain people, and that's why it's persistent. You don't want to let go. But you're going to have to go into silence and listen and connect with earth energy. What is, okay, this is what I'm getting. Look into nature and your earth around you. What is it revealing to you, to you, right? Okay, so for example, like they show people running away from certain areas to go into different areas. That's what I'm getting, right? Into the city or into different places. Okay. What is that nature? Is Mother Nature making space for you to bring in something new? Is she reflecting that to you to purge your mind stuff so that you can go into this new that they're calling for you? Judgment. This is Gabriel energy, so that could have been some tough energy. All right, so, whoo, yeah, lifting of the burdens. Okay, so this is someone who is a Sagittarius with a Capricorn in their chart. Okay, and I'm getting French. All right, so. Six of Cups. So, in your mind, create the improvement, and you will see that in the physical reality. There is love there. Ask for assistance when you need it, and things will move with faster momentum. I think you've been going slow for some, this is a masculine uh, energy, okay, so male is what I want to say. You've been going slow, and the encouragement is for you to go faster here, okay, but you want to take it slow. You want to enjoy the journey, okay, so fun, for some of you... You want to create new memories. What was memorable to you in the past? What do you want to bring into the future with faster momentum? Yeah, see, that that's what I was talking about. You had all this stuff planned, and for some of you, and I feel like this is a man, it's like slow snail. 
Now for some of you, you got entangled in opposition energy. So that's what that density was. And you had to work through that density. That's like lower vibrating energy to be lifted and be high vibing. So everything is in order, even if you feel like you met some chaos there. Woo! Okay, so Pisces, someone got a bunch of butterflies. Okay, so that's like, that was like the ace, new beginnings. Okay, so what are you painting into your reality, right? Ooh, Pisces got cocoon too. Someone got cocoons. It's all blending together. All right, now, so um, I'm getting like wanting to just cozy up to something and hold it to give you a piece. Okay, so money's been on your mind for some of you. I feel like that's the masculine. Okay. Now for some of you in the marriage, money was an issue and that had you uh, feeling all kinds of ways. Okay, but I feel like now with this Four of Swords, you're at a more peaceful place, but that's why you're defensive towards that past person for someone. All right. Yeah. The key is healthy communication, right? Positive communication, healthy communication. That's the key to your success here. Now, this is a Leo, so there may be an Aquarius or a Leo that's important in your life. And you may see them as a devil energy, but really, they're trying to bring peace. You may see them as a butterfly sometimes, and you may see them as cougar energy or panther energy, which may not be so positive. But uh, I feel like I want to say that these people that you've been um, calling your enemy really are your friends. Yep. And it has you in your emotions. All right. And you want balance and stability above all. That's what I'm getting. And you may have been juggling things to try to bring in this balance, but the door of opportunity is here. And sometimes you have to just trust your inner energy to move. Oh, I'm getting mountain. Yeah, that's that density. Okay, so I feel like you're going to feel higher and lighter. Someone got like Jacob's ladder or shoots and ladders. Okay. Yeah, Six of Swords. And you may want to feel like escaping, but the key to success, yeah, with money situation, you may want to escape. But the key is to face the music. And that's what I feel like. If you have a fire sign friend, I feel like it's going to blossom. Now, this is you feeling passionate again about something for a woman. And that could be the designer stuff. Okay. Okay. So, oh, this is interesting. Okay. So, if you were in some kind of position, this is for someone. If you were in some kind of position where uh, you were doing law work or something like that, you're going to move in a new direction right now. Okay. You're, and what's interesting is this knowledge is important in whatever you're doing now into the future. So don't see it as wasted energy. Okay, so that's for someone. Okay, now, for some of you, moving in this new path doesn't feel comfortable for you, so you want to escape. The key is to open that book write a new story in your mind and then see the results when the retrograde goes direct 